I am back with another video. Um, this time it is an announcement video. So yesterday when I posted my supplies and colouring book haul, I mentioned I would be doing um, something during the month of June. Now I believe this was hosted last year by Lisa's Colouring Corner, but I could be wrong. Um, if I think it was her, whoever it was, I messaged on Instagram to see if they were doing it again this year and they're not. So I asked if I could um, do my own version of it. So during the month of June, from the 1st to the 30th, I will be hosting Jade in June. And the premise of Jade in June is during the month of June, I will be colouring in all books from Jade Summer. Now, this isn't all of my collection, but I have quite a few picked out here with lots of pages tabbed. So what I'm going to do is just show you through the pages that I've tabbed. And if you want to do any of these pages and join in with Jade in June 2020, you can do so. Um, the hashtag will be hashtag Jade in June 2020 over on Instagram. And if you want to tag me in any of your work, you can do so. I am on Instagram under at addicted to colouring. The same as my YouTube name. So without further ado, I will go ahead and show you all these pages that I've marked. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to get to every single one of these. Because I won't, I don't think. But I wanted to give myself plenty of variety to choose from. So I didn't sort of get bored with what I was doing. So the first Jade Summer book I picked out was Cute Fairies. And the pages that I've picked out in this are this fairy on the horse. And you may notice a theme, I've picked quite a few horse pages. <laughs> Um, I have a thing for colouring horses at the moment. And the other page that I picked was this one. This reminds me a bit of Pocahontas, sort of Native American with a husky. So I'm hoping to get to one of those. I'm hoping to do at least one page from each book. But like I said, it depends on the mood I'm in and... Um, what my hands will allow me to colour. So this one is Nightmares by Jade Summer. This came out around Halloween last year. And I've picked out the very first page in this one. Um, I'm hoping to do this one with my fiancé as he has this book too. And uh, yeah, hoping to get to that one. The other one I picked out... Um, was more because I wanted to colour in the background than the actual image. Um, I wanted to colour in the diner behind him. But not sure if I'll get to this one or not, but it, it's there if I fancy it. So that is that book. Next we have Jade Summer Fantasy Colouring Book Art Nouveau. And again, I've picked out a couple of pages in this one. So we've picked out this one, be nice and colourful, can see some gold in there with sort of blues, greens, purples and see how that one goes. And this Archer, I recently saw this as page of the day and it inspired me to do it. Um, I've done, I think I've just done the one page in here. And I, I wasn't really happy with that one. And that was that one. Um, it's sparkly on the tail, but I don't know. I just wasn't overly happy with how it turned out. But they are the ones I've picked out in there. I then have Chibi Girls. This is the first book in the Chibi Girls set. And I picked out the Cleopatra. Again, I can see golds, blues, turquoises maybe. So I fancied that one. I've got three pages picked out in this one. 
Then we've got the Pirate Girl. Lots of wood. Quite enjoy colouring wood. And then the other one I have is... Oh, look, a horse. <laughs> it is the Cow Girl. So, yeah, that's the three I've picked out in Chibi Girls. Then we have Cute Cats. I've picked out two in here. So I've been wanting to do this page for quite a while. The Sailor Cat with the robotic shark. And the other page in here... Whoops! Is the... It's kind of like an assassin cat, I guess. He's like got a drone attached to his back. And it kind of reminds me of the film Cats and Dogs. Uh, cross with Mission Impossible. <laughs> Instead of being lowered down to get a diamond, he's uh, getting some pizza. So that is that one. Then we have stuffed animals. I've picked out one page in this one. And that is this one because it's really cute. With the penguin. And I think this is a panda. I'm not overly sure. Uh, that looks like a little koala. And a dog. And then, not sure, maybe a rabbit. I don't really know what that is. <laughs> if you know what these animals are, let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it. That is that one. Then we have Light and Dark Fantasy. This is the grayscale edition that combines the two. I have three pictures picked out in here. Firstly, I have the lion. Then we have this scary looking dude. I just want to play around with the silver on his chains and do him like a vibrant green or something. <laughs> Could, is he a gargoyle? I'm not really sure what he is, but. And then the last one is the witch. That was more of a simplistic page. I didn't think it would take me so long to do that one. If I choose to do her. Next we have geometric mandalas. Um, I haven't coloured a page in this one yet fully. I started to mess around with my chameleons. But I figured as I'm co-hosting um, Jade in June, I asked at Ashley's Colouring Creations, both on YouTube and Instagram, if she would co-host with me, and she said yes. So go over and check out her YouTube. But we like to do five pen challenges together, and I figured we could do some of these together as five pen challenges. So I picked out that one. And I've picked out this one, which I'd quite like to do in a stained glass effect. I don't know why I, I could just see that as like a stained glass window. So that is Geometric Mandalas. The next one we have is Interior Design. This is another fairly recent one. Um, I have yet to colour in. So I picked out the Dining Room. I love colouring interiors, so looking forward to doing this. And also I picked out... The nautical seaside themed bath um, bathroom. No, it's a kitchen. So I really want to have fun doing the bamboo and some like blues and oranges maybe. Some red and white and yeah. See how we get on with that one. Then the last book I have is one of the most recent books. This came out not last week but the week before. And this is Kawaii Horror. I haven't marked out any pages in this. Um, but I know that the first one I want to do, starting on the 1st of June, is this one. The Unicorn. I cannot wait to start this page. And there's just lots of pictures I really like in here. I like this one. 
So I didn't mark any of them because I would have like 100 tabs in it. I believe Ashley is doing this one. But be sure to check out her video. It could, actually, it was that one that Ashley's doing. Yeah, it was this one. Uh, be sure to go check out Ashley's video because I believe she's going to upload um, a video announcing Jading June and also showing you what pages that she's going to be doing. So you can join along with her if you like. So that is all the books. I've also got a few PDFs printed off. Um, I believe this is from Chibi Horror. Don't quote me on what books these are from. I can't remember because I've got quite a few. Um, Chibi Horror. And then Chibi Girls 2, I believe. Again, I wanted to colour in the diner. Kawaii Girls. Fantasy, maybe. Or the other Kawaii Girls. And this one. So that is all the pages that I'm going to try and get to during the month of June. I hope you will join in with me and be sure to tag any pages that you do in your Jade Summer books, whether it's ones that you're doing along with me or just any Jade Summer pictures you're doing, under the hashtag Jade in June 2020. Until my next video, guys, happy colouring. Bye.